Back into the red zone, Virginia. Fake on the play. Thompson in the end zone. And he high steps it in. I just believed that, yeah, the longer it went, the stronger we would get. Um, there'd be bumps along the way. Um, but it's the design of the program, and it's my intent to help people in general, our players especially, right, that when challenges come, they just keep persevering and, and becoming more than they could have been without those challenges. And so it's just in align with the phil philosophical approach to our program as well. Touchdown! I think one of the values of having a rivalry game at the end of the season is motivation. And regardless of how your season has gone, there's always that game. And this year, maybe more than any, as you look around college football, I think there are some teams that are just treading water and trying to make it to the finish. Others have something to look forward to and are excited for another opportunity because of a specific opponent. And I think that's what this type of game does for the players involved in college football. Virginia Tech is hard-nosed. Um, they're run first, they're physical, they're tough. They, they play aggressively. Um, the scheme builds on each other. There's great screens and play actions and RPOs and then um, just good personnel and so it's just very well designed, it's very well architected and it's usually really well executed and the quarterback position is one of the critical pieces for that and every year it seems like there's not only one but two possibly three and sometimes even four players that are capable at that position and I'm impressed with whoever's playing that spot for Virginia Tech. This is Thompson, he wants that direct snap. First down and more, right up the middle. Keaton just each game seems to do something else that we haven't seen him do yet. And we have him for another year, and it's going to be really fun just to see where he goes from, from here. I didn't ever question that we'd make it to the end. Uh, I think what I underestimated is the constant state of uncertainty and adaptability necessary to get to this point. And quite frankly, I think most teams and most coaches around the country uh, right, you're coaching a different roster each week and you're coaching against a different roster each, each week. And you do your very best to adapt, adjust, and, and overcome. Um, what's also really clear is once the game starts, really nobody cares. Whatever happened to get to the game, once the game starts, it's about the results.